Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have one of their true intentions in love. And we have your oracle cards here, right? And today we have uh, we have these oracle cards here. Uh, we have a few here for you. Uh, it's really beautiful. It is. Uh, the lovers is showing up here. And these two people are madly in love with each other, Sagittarius. Yeah, they are. They're naked in the park and they don't give a shit. Doesn't that sound like uh doesn't doesn't that sound Sagittarian? <laughs> yeah, for the true Sagittarian, I really don't give a shit. So, you know, they're sitting here in the park and the doves are here, like kind of blessing this, right? Kind of bringing hope and uh faith here, right? And so here they are, and you know, these people are madly in love and they're naked, and they're out in the middle of this kind of park here in the middle of nature. And we also have this card of the Wailing Tree. And this is Reconciliations, right? Yeah, and so I feel like you're reconciling with somebody, Sagittarius. And, you know, since this is, uh, this is a love reading with your and their energy, this could be them kind of, kind of concerned how things are going to go. We have the magnifying glass, right? Unless they're a private eye, Sagittarius, right? Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, the compass, right? And these are both, you know, they're next to each other. And so, you know, maybe you're wondering here, kind of. The magnifying glass is always about wondering, like, I need to look at this a little closer. And the compass talks about, you know, finding the right way, the right direction, the right path. And somebody might be wondering uh, here if they come to you, if it is the right path. And I don't mean because they don't love you. Here they are, Sagittarius. They couldn't get your clothes off any faster, right? No, they couldn't. And they're like, well, thanks for wearing the miniskirt because it was just easier, like, right? But, you know, they could just be wondering maybe if you will have them, kind of. It's possible here, right? It doesn't always have to be, well, mm -hmm. we're going to find that out here because we have the Sunrise card, and this is new creative ideas and a fresh start. Could be new ventures, right? The main female is here, uh, and this is, she's holding a rose here, and then we have the Sudden Wealth card, right? So, you know, Sudden Wealth can be anything that has to do with money. This could be like you, uh, aside from this reconciliation, you kind of, you know, you could be making money on your own, right? Uh, could be, let's see what they say about this uh, main female who is holding the rose and She's really beautiful, and uh, she's, like, waiting for somebody here. She might have a date. Let's see what it says here. Mm -hmm. And the main female uh, significator and likewise a co-protagonist. Okay, well, she's an elegant lady clad, dressed, uh, clad in a fine tea dress, yeah, edged with lace and beading, properly wearing her pearls in the afternoon. Yeah, in those days, they kind of got dressed because, you know, this woman, she comes from money. So she never had to work. You know, she's going to an afternoon tea. Can you believe this stuff? Uh, right now, everybody's, uh, yeah, I got to go to work, right? Pro and in the uh, we meet her in her private sitting room. Her red rosebud points upward to what's on her mind. Yeah, she's holding the rose. Love is on her mind. It shows the importance of open, deep, romantic love in her life. But on her table, we, we see only white roses, symbols of innocence or hidden love. In an opposite sex reading, she's a partner of, of card number one, who is the main male, right? In a same sex reading, she's the partner of the privileged lady, okay. An attractive woman stands in the light of the nearby windows holding a rose, okay. We saw that. We, she looks as if she's been lost in a reverie, but is now concerned with the viewer. This is the card that represents a female aquarium. This could be you. In a reading for a man, she's a woman who is important to him. So... For me, this is, uh, you are very important to somebody, right, Sagittarius? And you could be thinking about love. And this could be hidden love because they talked about that. They said the white roses on the table could be hidden love, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe you were somebody's lover, Sagittarius, right? You could be, definitely. And, you know, we have uh, the winter's uh, dream, gestation period, Somebody, you know, could have been dreaming all about you and, like, maybe to come at the end of winter because the gestation period is kind of like when things are conceived and, you know, the little baby's in the oven, the little baby's in the womb, and it is kind of growing. That is usually the gestation period. Somebody's coming here, Sagittarius. That's what this is. Let's look at the winter's dream, right? Usually the winter's dream for me is uh, please, uh, please bring spring, right? Yeah. Don't want to sit in the house while it rains and all this other stuff, right? 
Although we need rain, we do. Let's see what we have, you guys. And uh, we have gestation period, sanctuary, conscious awareness. Mm -hmm. The winter's dream is a summons to go within. Okay. So this could talk about you going within and, you know, and somebody's going within. We have the magnifying glass. I feel like they are. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, and it says your life force longs to turn inward like the sap of trees returning to the roots. Oh, how beautiful. Cast your gaze toward the deep and hidden places in your heart. Come to rest again in the sanctuary and safety of your own soul and be at peace, basking in your crystalline clarity. So you have some major clarity in that quiet place. This is not hibernation. Don't fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Trust that the deeply buried seeds inside your soul, the ones you planted before you were born, are stirring softly, ready to awaken with the spring. This talks about something that is kind of faded. It does. Uh, and it goes on, right? Awaken, awaken, right? And, you know, this could be you or this person, but there's something faded here, Sagittarius. There is. And then we have straddling worlds, wandering between realms. This could be somebody else who's wandering between realms. You know, this reading could be applying, Im implying here that you are kind of a hidden secret. It could be. The hidden love over here with the roses. Um, you don't have to be, but you could be, right? And now somebody could be coming forward to, uh, to join you and to, you know, reunite with you. It could be. Because we have reconciliations right there. And here it is, Sagittarius. And here is this, uh, this man, he's wailing, right? He's like the tree man. And he's like, like wailing, kind of crying and singing out loud at the same time. I feel like he's calling to his lover, let's reunite. Let's reconcile this. And, you know, reconcile always kind of talks, Sagittarius, about it's kind of a reckoning, right? That's why the words sound the same. Uh, you know, reconciling means getting back together, of course, but sometimes when we see the reconcile, like, let's reconcile the books, like, <clears throat> you know, with accounting, it means fix them, like something was wrong, kind of, right? There could have been something wrong in the past, Sagittarius, right? I mean, you could have, like, you know, I don't know, maybe you beat your lover up, Sagittarius, don't do that kind of stuff, all right? <laughs> I don't think you can do that, but let's see, we have... Uh, we have the straddling world, and this talks about being comfortable in two states, wandering between realms and reinvention. Somebody could be between two realms, right? And they are trying to find comfort there. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about that uh, later. And the, Well, let's talk it out. It says, there is no going back to the way things once were, and what will be is not yet fully here. Wow, you see, so this can talk, of, like you could be feeling like you're between worlds, you might know this person is returning to you. You might know this. I'm kind of get picking that up here, right? Mm -hmm. Or you are so much in your hope that somebody will return here or that you can return to somebody. So you feel kind of, you're trying to find comfort in kind of an, maybe uh, a little bit of an insecurity. It's a possibility here, right? Mm -hmm. And let's see what else we have. You must find the delicate balance that can bring you delight as you relish the past and all your memories along with awe as you glimpse the astonishing and exciting future. You're waiting here most likely to reconcile with somebody, right? When we reconcile, it's always with somebody from the past, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, uh, we also have the card, Sagittarius. And last but not least, uh, this is the card. I'll sing the song that goes to it, all right? dun 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 because it says right here, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Okay, we see the lady with the rose. We see the lovers. Uh, it has to be romantic, don't you think, you guys? So let's see what we have uh, for Sagittarius and their person. Let's see what we have. And uh, we're going to pick up a different deck here. Yeah, we are. Where is that deck? Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. Yeah, we're going to use two decks. And uh, we're going to have, you know, for them, we'll use another deck. So let's get a couple shuffles in, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. you're gonna, it looks like you're going to marry this person from the past, right? There's no other way to look at this reading unless, you know, right? And not this particular, no, there's not. Let's see what we have, you guys. Maybe it's uh, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not, right? Let's see what we have. Let's look at your energy. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. See what we got. Did I flip these cards? 
No. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Four of Cups. OMG. Five of Cups. See, in the past, you could have suffered by this person. You might have. Let's see what we have. Hold on a second, guys. There could have been a sad ending. There could have been regret. The Ace of Pentacles is what's on... Uh, let's see here. The Ace of Pentacles is what you want, is what you desire or hope for, right? Mm -hmm. A brand new beginning. But you want a beginning with this person that's solid. And it looks like they're going to bring you a marriage here. So, I mean, that can't, you know... That's pretty solid, Sagittarius, unless, you know... Unless you want to put this person in your love prison, right? And, you know, every day you'll go and make love to them and bring them a rose, right? And bring them a meal. <laughs> That's pretty solid, like terrible, right? And uh, let's see what we have. In your fear is the strength card. This could be your fear or your doubt. It could. Let's put their cards down and have a look. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius's person. Or we're going to get a few uh, shuffles in here. Let's see what we have here. Don't want 8,000 reversals. No, we don't. Let's, see, let's get some shuffles for Sagittarius. This person. What's on your mind, Sagittarius? Is the Four of Cups. And so, you know, you have this Eight of Pentacles reverse. This is kind of a trip here. Mm hmm. You might feel uninspired. You could have been waiting a long time. Uh, it does look like there's some time has gone by, right? We see Winter's Dream, and we also see this wailing, uh, not the, yeah, the wailing tree, reconciliation. I mean, it looks like there's some time has gone by here. And I say that, too, because we have the compass, like there's some type of path, right? It could always imply a long path and a journey, kind of, direction. And then we have... Uh, we have the magnifying glass. Maybe somebody was looking at this for a long time because they had to really look at this very deep. And their energy is the Seven of Cups. They've made a really hard choice in the past. Maybe they had uh, options. Let's see what we have. Ten of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Their challenge is the Empress. And this is, you know, Sagittarius, this is somebody who's nurturing and passionate and sexy, but... You know, we talked about this hidden love here. It could imply that, remember, with the white roses on the table. And so right here, this empress can talk about, you might be, you might have been a secret is my point, and I was kind of saying that earlier. You could have been, uh, because, you know, she's the number three in the major arcana, which can speak to a third party. Any three can imply that. It's just how it is. Let's see what else we have. Well, these cards are based on numerology to a certain degree, right? We have uh, the ones, the twos, and the tens, and everything in between. Uh, let's see what else. What they want or hope for is the ace, knight of swords, and their fear is going to be the fool or their doubt. Mm -hmm. So in the past here, Sagittarius, uh, we have the six of cups. This is your impression from the past, but it was reversed. Mm -hmm. And so is this eight of pentacles here. I feel like you feel you 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 could have been feeling unhappy because somebody from the past did not return to you. Right? It's possible you thought they were investing in somebody else here. Mhm. Mm I feel like you might have been waiting for this person to maybe possibly walk away from somebody, but Let's see what else we have. Let's get a card here for Sagittarius. We have the six of five of swords. Yeah, I mean this this is a card of defeat, right? And so winning and losing. Let's see what else we have. It could have been here that you like maybe you were losing out in the past with this person, or you felt kind of defeated, or like you couldn't win with them, right? It looks like you were kind of in crisis or conflict over this person. And they might have been investing in somebody else. This Eight of Pentacles reverse can talk about that. It can. Let's see what else we have. And this could have made you feel super uninspired. Now we have the Eight of Swords here. So this can talk about, you know, maybe you have uh, cut ties with this person, but this talks about some, this man's cutting her ties, like releasing her from her oppression. 
Yeah, it definitely looks like you were kind of, it looks like you were kind of unhappy. You might have wanted somebody to release themselves. I feel like that's it. Yeah, release themselves from either another situation or maybe their fear to come forward. Uh, or maybe they felt stuck for some reason here. Mm -hmm. Because you could be fearing maybe over here the strength card that this person would never have the courage to come forward. Yeah, and that's in your doubt and your fear. And we have the world card. Mm -hmm. This is what's on your mind here. This world card talks about uh, this. This is your major wish in life. This is like a world, like, like you know, uh, a landmark in your life. Like, wow, this is you know, and this can talk about like a major wish fulfillment, and it can also talk about an ending of a cycle and a new one. We see the five of cups could be an ending. It's a, it can be, and uh, this is your challenge. We have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands down here, and this is a completion here. I feel like you kind of felt like you were in chains about this person in the past. They could have uh, been with somebody else very easily here. We have the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups. These are turning points. And this is major change, right? And when I say major change, uh, when I say a turning point, that is definitely change. But it's kind of a, a chaotic change, right? Yeah, it's not like when somebody sends you a letter, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we received, we got your test, and uh, the second test you took, you improved a lot. No, it's not that kind of change. Let's see what else we have for Sagittarius. The King of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, this could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn for sure. I feel like you felt kind of uninspired here, and you felt kind of defeated here, and you wanted to like kind of release yourself maybe from these chains here. But I feel like what you wanted, uh, you felt stuck, and you kind of wanted to release yourself from that. But I feel like really what you wanted is this other person to do that, to release themselves from some type of maybe a situation uh, where they felt defeated or they could have defeated somebody here. I felt like you were probably in despair about this. Yeah, you could have been at least chaos and conflict. And your challenge, let's see what your challenge is, five of cups, two of swords. I just feel like there's some type of another ending that you wanted to happen and you could have been the secret. You could have been kind of the hidden love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see what it says here about this reconciliation card. Uh, with the wailing tree, Sagittarius. Let's see what it says. Uh, mm -hmm. And we have grief and mourning. A time, wow, a time of necessary losses and reconciliations. Both. This is why he's wailing, right? You can see the look. He's crying here. He's uh, grieving and wailing at the same time. And yeah, I said singing, but I kind of meant like, it's not a good song, right? No, it's a sad, it's like a sad kind of, what's the right word? Wailing. Yeah. There's another word for that too. And so for me, Sagittarius, you look like you're waiting for somebody. You wanted them to close out another cycle. And I feel like you probably were the secret here. This person could have been your ex. In other words, maybe at one time you were in union with them, and maybe another time you were kind of their secret or something like that. But you felt uninspired because you probably wanted them to cut their own ties, and this would release you. This would release you. This is complicated right here. It is. You wanted them to release themselves probably from another union, but you wanted them to release you. And by them coming and showing up for you, they're going to be releasing your, your oppression or your repression, I should say. Yeah. So what you want here, so you have the Two of Swords and the Five of Cups in your challenge. I feel like your challenge was you kind of felt like there's nothing I can do about this if they don't do this. I, for me, your person probably has to end another situation. We just saw the mourning and the losses. What you want over here is the Ace of Pentacles. 
And you might think, which is a brand new beginning with them for long term, but you might think that this person would not come forward because of some regret they had. Regret over you or somebody else possibly. So let's see why. Uh, let's see what you want. You want the Ace of Pentacles. Let's get another card on it. Just the fun of it here. Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands down here. These are completions. You want this, but you want an ending too. So for me, you're hoping they're going to end another situation. Ten of Swords, like I've been saying, and the Ace of Pentacles. So you can have that Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have the Strength cards. Your fear. Or you doubt the lovers. You're afraid they're not going to make this choice. Yeah. They have the Seven of Cups with the Ten of Wands. This was really a burdening for this person to make this choice right here, Sagittarius. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's get another card for them. Two of Swords. For me, they made the choice anyway. And this is going to open up a brand new reconciliation for you. But they made the choice anyway, but they're like, well, there's nothing else I could do here. Like, this is burdening. I have to make the choice if I want Sagittarius. Yeah, it's a real, you know, heavy load for me, but I'm going to do it. Right? Yeah. Two of Swords is, you know, sometimes, well, this is how it is. I have to do this and kind of hope for the best, kind of. Six of Pentacles showing up in their challenge. Hanged man. Maybe they are dealing with Pisces. Maybe they are Pisces. Right? But right away over here, Sagittarius, in your reading is the King of Pentacles reverse. Who could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Their challenge here, this person could have had you, uh, this is what's on their mind. I beg your pardon. Six of Pentacles and the Hangman. So they might be sacrificing somebody here. It's, yeah, for sure. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this could be a Piscean, it could be, but this could be them, like, also kind of, you know, they have uh, looked at this from every angle here, because they have, because they have the Seven of Cups, I'm doing it anyway, I'm making this choice, and the Two of Swords with it, right? But, you know, what's on their mind here is some type of a give and take with you. They might think you're going to sacrifice them. It's possible. Because this person, like... It could totally be a slam dunk that they're in love with you. I feel like they are. But for some reason, this was a very difficult choice. And we have to ask why, right? We have to ask why they're doing these, these uh, bitches who are running things, why they're doing this and that, not just, oh, they're doing it because they said it's going to be good. <laughs> Let's see what else we have, you guys. <laughs> oh, shit. We have the Ace of Wands, Right? And so this is, they want this Ace of Wands with you. For me, they're sacrificing somebody right here so they can have a give and take with you. So they can have an equal, a balanced, and a sharing kind of, you know, union with you. And I feel like these sixes, sixes are about priorities. You are their priority. This is why they are sacrificing somebody here. And they don't like doing it. No, they don't, Sagittarius. So they could be breaking somebody's heart. The Empress is what they are, could be hoping for. I mean, their challenge. Sorry, you guys. Two of Pentacles. Here they are, going back and forth. If they can bring this to fruition with you. If they can, like, you know, have this with you, most likely. Let's see what else we have. Let's get another card for their challenge. Four of Cups. Yeah, they could be wondering if you're going to reject them. They could. Definitely here. They have a lot of kind of doubts here, and like, and struggle, this is a struggle for this person, uh, and the Knight of Swords is, could be what they want, it's coming with the Nine of Wands, this person wants to come in fast, most likely, and, uh, I feel like they were thinking about this all winter, yeah, Sagittarius, at least winter in the Northern Hemisphere, right, you could be saying, you know, geez, you know, you took that long, and, uh, maybe you're coming really pale now, just teasing, right, <laughs> because of the winter, and so the Nine of Wands is here, and this is uh, what they are hoping for, you know, could be here. But this person has already been through a lot of battles here. They've already been hurt, maybe by their own actions. But, you know, the Nine of Wands is I've come this far, and it's been a really hard journey. And now I worry about the future. I worry about what's going to happen with the Ten. Am I going to have like, 
a great completion, right? Which is like an ending and like, am I going to have a new beginning? How's it going to go at the end of this journey? And this is what this person is worried about. Because they want to come in fast. This person doesn't know if they can have like a union with you or a reconciliation. Yeah. And they have the death card. Mm -hmm. This person's coming, but I feel like they they could be, they want to come in fast. Uh, this could be saying that they want a, a, an ending in their own, in their own union or in their own situation, right? I do believe this person, for sure they want a transformation with you. But this Nine of Wands, they want to come in quick, but they don't know what's going to happen. That's what the Wounded Warrior is like. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. The full card is their fear or their doubt. And then we have uh, we have the Eight of Swords. So he's showing up twice here. And here this person is still bound. This person is, this is very clear. They have fears and doubts about uh, taking this risk. And this is a risk for them. And then we have to ask why. They could be leaving another situation. But we know it's a risk too because they don't know if you're going to accept them, Sagittarius. Yeah, because you're the rebel. In the horoscope. Yeah, you are. You could be saying, don't give me that reputation. Don't, right? Mm hmm So we're going to, in the extended Sagittarius, we're going to finish the Lenormand spread right here. We have these five cards. We're going to finish that. And uh, we're going to see how they feel about you. And we're also going to see uh, how they are looking at this situation. Yeah, we are. We're going to look at their environment. We're not really seeing that here. We want to see who or what may be in their environment, right? Uh, and we're also going to see uh, their near future. We are. Mm -hmm. Their near future. And we're going to see uh, what they hide, Sagittarius. Like what you don't know about them. Mm -hmm. Or what could be hidden, right? And uh, also their true intentions. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.